Israel, Israel. Who am I? Israel. Who am I? Shalom. Oh, praises to the Most High. Shalom. What's good? I Shalom, man. Oh, praises. Oh, praises. It's a blessing to see you, Bruce. Right, man. I've been here in the hot water trying to get this connection going, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. You know, yeah. he's so busy, bro. He is busy, right. man. <laughs> hey, how, hey. how going on? What's going on in Bama, man? Everything good down that way, bro? Um, got a whole bunch of a mixture of brew of stuff. Death and destruction. Uh, tornadoes everywhere. Uh, got this troop going out. Um, and she ain't stopping. Hey, that was that's what it's about, man. All praises, bro. Oh, All praises. Oh, man, I'm going to let you get going with the class, man. All praise the most high that we got started, man, that we got the connection going. All praises. Next, we're trying to hate on it. Hate on his words. <laughs> yes. All praises. All praises. Okay. All praises to the most high. <clears throat> um, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Um got um got some vital information I want to bring out um it's concerning and considering the love of many shall wax cold we're going to bring out the understanding of that love uh why it's waxing cold all praise to the most high and um this consists only of israel all praises to the most high um we're going to start off with that, um, that Romans um, 15 and 4. Bo, you'll give me Romans 15 and 4. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things are written aforetime, uh -huh. are written for our learning. Come on. That we do patience and comfort of the scriptures by uh -huh. have hope. See? See, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. The things that was written aforetime, um, things of the Old Testament, things of uh, uh, um, the old um, the old world. It was written for our learning. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, our praises, um, Bo. You'll give me that uh, that Romans uh, seven and one. Romans chapter seven verse one. Come no, on. you not. Brethren, for I speak to them that uh -huh. know the law. Hold on. See, this is going out to those that know the law, have understanding of law, statutes, and commandments. Israelites. Come on. How that the law had dominion over a man as long as he lived. Uh huh. See, we are bound by the laws, statutes, and commandments forever. Long as a man live, the laws still stand over that man. They come. They come. Laws not done away with. Law, laws are here. Um, long, long as man is here, man is bounded by laws. Hey, also, let me expound on that a little bit for you. Hey, come on. Uh, Bo, read that again right quick. No, ye not. Brethren, notice Paul say, no, ye not, brethren. We know mm -hmm. Paul is an Israelite. So who he's talking to? He talking uh, to the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, no, ye out, not, brethren. Read. For I speak to them that know the law. Now, speak uh -huh. to them that know the law. What uh -huh. nation made a covenant with the Most High God? Israel. I'm going to show you all praises. I'm going to show you. When you get that Psalm 50 and 5, I'm Come on. this is what we have to realize. When Paul is speaking, mm -hmm. he asked King Agrippa to speak to his to the people. Knowing that we was in our Roman captivity, this is what we have to realize. Well, this, this ain't going in today. <laughs> Knowing that we was in our captivity, Paul had to speak in a matter of wisdom, which the most high God gave him. He couldn't okay. say, No, you Israelites. No, he said, brother. Brethren, there you go. So let's see who we get the covenant was with. Read that. Come on. Psalm chapter 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together. So even King David, right, he said, gather my saints together. We know the saints consist of who? 
the 12 tribes of Israel. Read right. up to me. Okay. Right. Those that have made a covenant. Notice what the scripture says. Those that have made a covenant, an agreement mm -hmm. see, with me by sacrifice. And we know only the 12 tribes of Israel have done that, man. We were the only one given the orphans of the Most High God. We were the only one was put up under the covenant by what? Come. The sacrifice, man. So, man, I, I just want to expand some more on that to let everybody know, man, Paul is speaking to the Israelites right now. Come and how the law have dominion over a man for how long? Forever. Forever. Go ahead, officer. Oh, praises. The water for that. The water for that, Cap. Um, Bo, um, you'll get me that um, that Matthew uh, 24 and 11. Matthew chapter 24, verse 11. Uh -huh. And many false prophets mm. shall rise and de shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. See, Talking see that's, that's, that's uh, your false prophets in the earth. That's um, your, um, your T.D. Jakes, which is T.D. Snakes. Um, Creflo Dollar, which is Creflo Holler. They teach things of prosperity teaching. They don't teach law, statutes, and commandments. Oh, see, please. see every everything they talk about. See that that's not consistent of laws, statutes, or commandments. Mm -hmm. Them false prophets. They teaching um, um, other things, uh, worldly things, um, prosperity, um, everything else besides of laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. They're not that's teaching right. that. They're not teaching that. That is so right, officer. Oh, praises. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and read on because when you think about that, have the seed, read, read verse 11 again, folks. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Come. And deceive many. Read. And because iniquity shall abound, this is what we have to realize. Because iniquity shall what? Abound. Don't grow and don't increase. Read. The love of many shall wax cold. Man, I'll, when you think about this, man, I like this class that you're doing today. The love Come. of many shall wax cold. When mm -hmm. you think about this, man, Israel have to realize. Read that verse 12 again, Bo. And because iniquity shall abound, shall that bow read? The love of many shall wax cold. So iniquity, we, iniquity is sin. Because sin shall increase. The hearts of men shall mm -hmm. wax cold, which we know is the mind, because the heart is going into the mind. The thoughts of men shall wax cold. Right. This is what we have to realize. False prophets. These, what we call our pastors and preachers, have not taught us the biblical understanding of this Bible. Right. They have not taught us the biblical truth of the Bible. They mm -hmm. have not taught us the element of what love is. Like right. the title of class, the love of many shall wax cold. God. Officer, I know you know this precept, but we're going to go there. Okay. Understanding what love is. Mm -hmm. Go give me first John chapter 5 and verse 3. The love of many. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God. Okay. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. So going into that false prophet, see a lot of times everybody look at the false prophet. Anytime a prophet not speaking what we call what Malachi 2 and 7, you're a false uh, prophet. If you're not teaching the oracle of the Most High God, you're not teaching the law to his chosen seed, you are a false prophet. So when you're going to be a false prophet, not teaching the love of God, mm -hmm. read that in the book. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Okay. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not hard, Israel. Well, officer, go ahead. Now, I have some more meat on the bone, but I'm going to let you keep rolling, brother. Big cut. Big cut. Um, Bo, you'll give that Jeremiah 23 and 21. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 21. 
I have not sent these prophets. Woo. Yet they ran. Mm. I have not spoken to them. Yet they prophesied. Mm. Come on. But if they had stood in my counsel uh -huh. and had caused my people to hear my words, Come on. they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. See, they not even out here teaching law, statutes, and commandments. So, yeah, it, that, that pretty much it ain't going to work out. Anybody or that, that comes before them, they're going to lead them astray. They, they're not giving them law, statutes, and commandments. Things that they're in that, you know, we have stood in the most highest council. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have learned. They teaching other stuff. They talking about other things. Uh-huh. Because, I, because I, got a, you know, I got a precept for that, man. Just expand on, on what, uh, what direction you're going, man. Israel have to realize, man, uh, the Bible say in the latter days, knowledge shall increase. Uh, it speaks about us prophesying and having dreams and visions. All these things is coming to pass. But we'll give God. me that Ezekiel chapter 22, and we're going to give me give me verse 25 right quick. Because the precept what you're talking about, and mm -hmm. man, our goal is to wake up our people, man. We, and is, what are we doing? We're teaching out of the same Bible Big Mama got sitting on that dress. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And we giving you precept upon precept, line upon line. Well, we because. all say, all stripping what? No, no lip. lip. Come on now. Watch it. Read this, bro. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 25. There is a conspiracy of her prophets. Understand why this precept is in the Bible. There is a conspiracy of her prophets. A problem, a controversy, an issue. Read. In the midst of, okay, like a roaring lion, Please. ravening the prey, ravening the prey, not seeing the problem, but not giving a solution, which is the oracles of the Most High God. Read, they have right. devoured souls. When you look at Christianity, when you look at Islam, when you look at all these religions, they have what? Devoured souls. Come on now, they have taken the treasure and precious things. So when you think about it, that's where your time money going to. That's where your prosperity preachers go to. That's it. Oh, oh, pray. Not telling our people to repent. Come out of seed. We God. they tell them to sow a seed. Read up. They have made her many widows in the midst of Come on now, because we fatherless. Read. Her priests have violated my law. This is what goes on. A man that's breaking the law cannot teach the law. Read. God. They have prof profane. My holy thing. That's what you learn about Sunday worship. Read off. They have put no difference. No what? Difference. This is where the God loves everybody come from. They have put what? No difference. Okay. Between the holy and profane. Because when you think about it, all people don't know the element of being holy. They don't even know what is holy. They think uh, being, being a choir director is holy. They think uh, being on the deacon board is holy. They think uh, being on the usher board is holy. Uh, Neither have they shewed difference between the unclean and the clean. That's why a lot of people die because they break the dietary law. That's why people have all type of issues because they break the dietary law. The most I die. Right. They don't know what's clean or unclean things to eat. Read. They right. have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. So they're going to tell you about Good Sunday. Read up. And I am <laughs> profaning among them. That's what's going on. I, I had to bring that precept out, man. Powerful. Powerful. <laughs> Go ahead, Big, big card. Um, Bo, um, give me that out of uh, Second Timothy uh, three, three and one. Second Timothy chapter three, verse one. Come this on. know also. Mm -hmm. In the last days, uh -huh. perilous times shall come. Hold on. We're in the last days. We're seeing these perilous times. Come on. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. we seeing that. Everybody want to be hot. Everybody want to shine. Yeah, I'm doing me. Come on. Covetous. Come on. Boasters. Look at that. Proud. And that's our problem. We, we, Israel, we got a big problem with, with, with that pride spirit. But it's all to the good. 
I'll pray to the Most High. The Most High gonna break that spirit. Read, right. blasphemers. Uh huh. Disobedient to parents. You see that every day, all day. All praise to the Most High. Come on. Unthankful. Mm hmm. Unholy. Look at that. Look at that. Wicked as all get out, but they know what's right. Come on. Without natural affection. Uh huh. Truth breakers. Come on. False accusers. Come on. Incontinent. Mm hmm. Fierce. Come on. Despisers of those that are good. Yeah, because see, if you in this truth, you, you know, and you walking according to the scriptures, now the world don't like that. They don't like that. They despise you and they will cast you out for doing the says the Lord according to the scriptures. That's right. Come on, Bo. Verse four. Traitors. Heady. Uh huh. There it is. Pleasures. Uh huh. Lovers of God. See, they got more love for this world than they do for the Most High. Come on. Come on now. Having a form of godliness. Uh huh. But denying the power thereof. Uh huh. From such turn away. See, they are here worse than idols and other Babylonian deities, Assyrian deities. No, no, no. See, they, they mind don't go into the way of uh, righteousness, of um, doing what the Most High say. They they too busy loving themselves, doing doing them. Come on. For of this sort are they which creep into houses. Come on. And lead captive uh -huh. women laden with sins. See? Come on. Led away with divers' lusts. Come on. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. See? They too busy doing them. They too busy being in love with they self. Uh, being, uh, having some form of God themselves, saying, yeah, I am a God. See? That's right. Captain, you got you got anything on that? Uh, keep rolling, bro. Keep All right. right. All right. Bo, um, give me that out of Second Edges um, 5 and 8. Second Ezra chapter five verse eight. There shall uh -huh. be a confusion uh -huh. also in many places. And see, and in this place right here, this is Babylon. Babel means confusion. And all you seeing now, it is confusion. Come on. And the fire shall be off sit out again. Uh-huh. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Come on. We see in that too. And mysterious women. Shall uh -huh. bring forward monsters. They shall bring forward what? Monsters. No, that 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 that's a little cute uh Brandon. Monsters. See, that's what that's 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 what's been brought here without that love, without that natural affection. See, without having understanding of law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Man, let me get a precept on that one because come on. Israel, this is what you have to understand. The prophet, man, uh, the Most High God, I tell people all the time, we nothing but unprofitable service doing the work of the Most High God. And people have to understand what we do is not is, is not pleasing to the world. When God uh -huh. was talking on the scene, what he say? He was that light, but guess what? The world loved darkness. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. a lot of things that we do is against the will of man. But we are here to do the will of the Heavenly Father. Give me Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Dealing with the sisters, dealing with our daughters of Zion. Precept that about what it say. Minister of women shall bring forth monsters. Why? Mm -hmm. that? Because guess what? That's that Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God. Let me show you something right quick. Read that right quick, God. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, I understand the most high God is addressed. As for his people, the 12 mm -hmm. tribes of Israel, read. Children uh, are their oppressors. Goes to what you were talking about. Minister of women shall bring forth mother. Because guess what? Israel have to realize our protection and our understanding come from the organs of the most high God. Anytime uh, we leave that, this is destruction to a nation. This is destruction uh, to our soul. 
three mm -hmm. days. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So we realize when you go through these neighborhoods and these hoods, who running these uh the neighborhood? The who the, the children read. And women and who? Women read rule over them. This is what we're talking about, Israel. This is future prophecy unfolding. Read. Oh right. my people. Notice what the most high God is addressing. Do Isaiah, oh my people, read. They which lead thee, they that lead thee, read, cause thee to err. Cause them to err. Because guess what? That's why we lead and seek a parent home. That's why we lead uh, uh, with uh, populating the prison system. Because the single mothers and the fathers have forsaken the oracles of the Most High God. Go ahead. That's all I had on that. Okay. All praises. All praises. All praises. Um, both. Um, Give me that um, Second Timothy three and twelve. Second Timothy chapter three verse twelve. Mm -hmm. okay. And all that will live godly in Yahweh shall shall uh -huh. suffer persecution. See. Suffer with uh, our Messiah, our Hamashiach. Suffer with him. He went through suffrage. We know better. We got to meet and greet that suffrage as well. And a part of that persecution, part of that, that, that suffrage, um, Bo, give me that, um, that uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 12. See, this is what suffrage brings for the righteous. Second Timothy chapter two verse twelve. If we suffer, mm -hmm. we shall also reign with him. See, if we suffer, we shall what? Reign with him. See, there it is. We're gonna we're gonna get the kingdom. That's all part of it. Come on. If we deny him, mm -hmm. he also will deny us. See, that's what it's about. So we don't want to deny him. All praises. Um, mm -hmm. give me that um cat cap. You got anything on that? Keep rolling, bro. Okay. Bo, give me that um second Timothy three and thirteen. Second Timothy chapter three, verse thirteen. But Come evil on. men and seducers mm -hmm. shall wax worse and worse. Mm. That's where we at. That's where we at. Everything is getting worse and worse. It used to be day by day. Now it's every hour on the hour. Men are waxing worse and worse. We as a people, we are getting worse and worse. You see, I'm out here doing everything. Um, hold on. I got um, I got um some write-ups, and um, I want to share some of the write-ups and um, the crime rate on the uh, the statistics that's going on um, state by state dealing with our people. Um, let me bring that out. Let me get that. And some of, some, some of the, the, the different accounts that has took place here recently um, a few days ago. Um, here's one. Okay, this just happened yesterday. This is uh, this happened yesterday in New York. Um, brother by the name of Joseph Joseph McCrimmons, he killed his nine-year-old daughter's mother and the two sisters. So he killed his two daughters and the mother of his child. Oh. Um, and that and that was that was just yesterday in in New York. Speaking on, you know, how the love is going to wax worse and worse. I mean, ain't, 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 as no preachers, as no pastors out here, you know, your, your Sunday, your Sunday uh, preachers and, you know, your Christian pastors, ain't nobody teaching law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. See, no, no, nobody's teaching, you, you know, about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High, being in the council of the Most High. So these things are going to happen. 
I'm telling you, man. I, I got a pre-sale. You got another article, though? I do, but if you want to come up with that pre-sale, come on with it. No, go ahead. I'm pretty sure that article is going to relate to it. Go ahead and okay. bring it up. All praises. Um, this one was... um. This was, was on the 16th of last month. Um, Indiana man, he shot his mother, he shot the mother of his child and he killed four of his children over dispute, over stimulus money, reports say. Oh, oh, st oh what? His stimulus <laughs> check. His <laughs> stimulus check. Not the 1400. <laughs> yes. Yes, it, that that was enough, that was enough for him to turn up and go off. That's no love. See, that, if that brother had a knew about laws, statutes, and commandments, and having the love, he would have never went off. I'm gonna show you something. Man. I'm glad you brought that up, officer. Uh, Come on, hold what you got for me. Give me Romans 13 and 10, though, because this is what Israel have to understand. Because they look at the Israelites. And they come into the mindset, y'all keep talking about the law. What about love? I'm a, I'm gonna give you, I got a couple precepts, but I'm going to just give you one. This is what come all on. people have to understand. Mm -hmm. We've been taught the wrong definition of love. This come word on. love is destroying us as a nation. So I'm going to show you, according to the scriptures, when we bring up the law, statute, commandments of the Most High Yah, what are we actually performing and fulfilling? We're going to bring it out the script. Read there, I forgot. Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love worketh no ill. So understand, love worketh no ill, read. To his neighbor. To his neighbor. Because when you look at it, who is your neighbor? Your brothers and your sisters. God. Remember with the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Read that last part again, huh? Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. This is why. The Most High God had to bring the prophet back so on the scene. God. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Is mm -hmm. no way you can have love and don't have the law, statute, commandments of the Most High God. I'm gonna show. You. Give me, uh, Bo. Give me the understanding of peace, right quick. Give me Psalms 119, verse 165. Mark and understand what the prophets are saying. Is no way you can have love without the oracles of the Most High God. I don't care what Deacon Bacon said or, uh, or Pastor Kathy said. You cannot uh -huh. have love without the commandments of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Get right quick, God. Psalms chapter 119, verse 165. Great peace. Understand, dinner with love brings forth that peace. The Bible says great peace free. Have they which love thy law. Notice King David said have they that love thy law. Once uh -huh. again, Love is the perfection and the fulfillment of the commandments of the Most High God. So if you are uh, live right now and you don't have love and peace in your life, you got to ask yourself, are you fulfilling the commandments of the Most High God? They can't. That's what you have to ask yourself. Now, the precept I want to give you right quick to go along with what we're talking about, Deuteronomy chapter 28, and you know what I want, bro? Verse 54. The understanding of, like you said, the love of me that shall wax cold. This All is right. one of the curses. But guess what? Christianity has been taught to the element of we the people that's up under the curse. God. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate. Understand. Tender and very delicate. Very emotional. Very in range. It don't take much to set them up. That goes uh, into having lack of knowledge, no understanding. Read. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Towards his brother, read. And toward the wife of his bosom. So did you just say that brother, your kids and family, his wife because of a family check he didn't get? God. God. <laughs> so it said towards his brother and the wife. Read. Of his bosom. Okay. And toward the remnant of his children. Which he shall leave. Come on, now. That's why child support is killing us now. This God. is future prophecy unfolding. Mm -hmm. All I had on that officer, go ahead. Okay. Um, 
got some more um, articles to bring out. Okay. This one, um, this one was on the uh, the thirty first of last month. Um, Denver man sexually molested and killed and killed his baby daughter. Um, wow. Um, man is under arrest, accused of molesting and killing his own infant daughter. The baby was an infant. This was no walking around toddler. This was an infant. Early uh, Monday, Harris, um, Harris said deputies were called to an apartment complex in the 1500 block of West Park where a baby wasn't breathing. EMS personnel treated nine-month-old Savannah, um, who was taken to a hospital where she was pronounced dead. Oh, man. So, yeah, it waxed cold with that brother. Um, he molested that child, and he cold-blooded murdered that child. That's cold. Because the love waxed cold with that brother. No understanding. I'm going to show you the precept. I'm going to show you the but Come on. 22 and 14. This is what tripped me out about Christianity, man. That's why I say uh -huh. Christianity is witchcraft. Christianity is the worst, I'm talking about the worst drug you can ever be on. Yes. Crazy. <laughs> you know, and, and, and you'll think about it, you look at the situation, you'll think like maybe they in a in a different Bible or something. But they uh -huh. read most of the time the same Bible. But they still cannot see what will the Bible say. Have ears that cannot hear and eyes that cannot see. Watch Revelation 22 and 14. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Uh -huh. Bless our day that do his commandments. Notice the Bible from Revel from Genesis all to Revelation talking about the commandments of the most high God, but the pastor is not speaking on this. So when you get into Revelation, it says, Bless our day that do his commandments. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. Okay. And mm -hmm. may enter in through the gates into the city. Now check that verse 15. So this goes into the understanding. If your pastor, if these churches is not teaching the biblical truth of the Bible, the oracle right. that you're reading is going to continue to happen. It's going because. to continue to increase. That will go mm -hmm. on with the class. The love of many shall wax cold. So read verse 15. For without our dogs. So without the commandments are what? Dogs. Read. And sorcerers. Okay. And whoremongers. And murderers. What just happened? And what? Murderers. Come on now. And idolaters. Okay. And whosoever loveth and make it a lie. Because whosoever loveth and make it a lie. Because you cannot have love without what? The commandments of the Most High Yah. Go right. ahead. That's all I want to bring out on that. Big con. Big con on that. Um, um, Bo, give me that Ephesians 5 and 16. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. Uh huh. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Mm. That's the times we're living in now. Evil times. We, we just got that. Um, you got, um, Pastors, preachers out here, uh, Christians out here, they're not teaching um, according to the scripture. They're not teaching law, stages, and commandments. Um, so things like that, just, just like Cap said, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to continue to keep happening. Um, oh, give me, uh, because the times that we in, it's evil. Yeah. It's evil out here. It's dark times. Um, give me... Um, so what? 30, uh, 39, 28. So rock chapter 39, verse 28. There are spirits that are created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. See that, 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 that brother, see, he was created. For vengeance, the love in that brother waxed ice cold. And the only thing that was on that brother's mind was his stimulus check. No law, statutes, and commandments, no none of that. 
slaying of the children and the baby mama, all this old stuff. See, man, give me um, and 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 furthermore, to get better understanding on on that thing, um, dealing with the spirits. Bo, give me that uh, Hebrews uh, twelve and uh, nine. Man, this hey, uh, God, this a this a heavy topic, man. Cause when you think about it, man, how much colder can can as a nation that we get, man? Mm -hmm. it, it's hard out here, brother. I'm telling you. That, man. I'm praying. It's up to us. It's up to the one that has awakened, man, to try to bring our people back to this understanding. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Hebrews chapter twelve, verse nine. Furthermore, uh -huh. we have had fathers of our flesh. Uh -huh. Which corrected us. Uh huh. And we gave them reverence. Come on. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? See, that's the Most High. He's the Father of spirits. See, we are subject unto Him. We have to give reverence unto Him. He's the Father of spirits. So He controls the good spirits and the bad spirits. Big come, big come. Man, I got something I want to bring God out. Uh, come on. Talking about this topic, the love of many shall wax cold. Uh -huh. You know, when I first came into the truth, I was feeling like, you know, it's talking about all, you know, the wicked people, the the people that's in the world. But man, you come into the truth, and I, and it, it, it's nothing to lie or sugarcoat. It's the same format, man. I'm gonna show mm -hmm. y'all First Peter chapter one and verse twenty two. See the thing is. No matter what camp or what brother or what elder might speak on, come on. We don't know who the one third or who the two thirds are. Come on. They think they the one third, you might be the two third. You know. Come on. We, we just striving for perfection and trying to, like I said, do the will of the heavenly Father. But I'm gonna show you. What I'm looking at now, the love of many shall wax cold. The brothers in this truth, one of the fringes, waxing mm -hmm. cold still, Israel. This is what we have to realize. Check it out. Read it right there, bro. First Peter chapter 1, verse 22. Mm -hmm. See, ye have purified your soul uh -huh. in obeying the truth. Oh, in obeying the what? Truth. This is what Israel have to realize because we're not just battling against Christianity. We're not just battling against the ones that haven't awakened. We in the truth and steady having problems with each other. Come on. You know, I heard a brother say before, man, he said, man, I want to be a part of y'all, but a lot of camps I see, they gang, but they, they, they bloods and crips almost. And I look at that. When you read that again, Bo? Seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth uh -huh. through the spirit unto unfeigned love, uh -huh. unfeigned love read, of the brethren. This is what we have to realize, man. Love of the brethren. Perfecting the laws of the Most High God. Going into the moral law. How we deal with each other, man. It's heavy in Israel right now, man. Brothers don't talk to brothers. Brothers beefing with brothers because they in a different camp or they might have a slightly different doctrine. Do that change right. the bloodline? Do that change the fact that our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? No, it do not. This right. is what goes on. But read on. See that ye love one another. So the most high God is understanding, let us know. See that we do what? Love one another. Now love the one just, just in your camp. Love one another. Now, love the ones that you just uh, cool with. Love one another. Come on now. With a pure heart, fervently. Fervently, man. With a pure mind, fervently. This is what we have to realize. Give me 1 John 3 and 15 right quick. Because this is what serves me out. When you deal with, with brothers that's supposed to be in this truth, that's supposed to be walking in the spirit of uh, the Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shah. And then you look at their actions and you look at how they betray themselves, there's no love in them, which we know love is what? the fulfilling of the law. Watch this. Right. First John chapter 3, verse 15. Whosoever hated his brother, read, is a murderer. So this is what we have to realize, man. Guess what, man? Some brothers in the truth hate other brothers because they enjoy their kids. They hate other brothers because out of 80% or 95% of the doctrine, 5% of their doctrine is different than the next man. Read that again, God. Whosoever hated his brother okay. is a murderer. Read on. And ye know that no murderer had eternal life 
abided in him. Give me the same thing. Give me 1 John 4 and 20. So this is what we have to realize. We have to perfect the laws of the Most High. Yeah, man. Everything is not going to be 100%. Everything is not going to be in order to what? You have a shall return. That's okay. why you're going back into the wilderness. But Come Israel on. don't understand this. Read that up. First John chapter 4, verse 20. If a man say, I love God. Okay. And hated his brother. And hated his brother, read. He is a liar. He's a what? Liar. Read. For he had loved it. Not his brother, okay, whom he had seen. So he said, You love not your brother who ye have seen, Reed. How can he love God whom he had not seen? This is what we have to realize. Uh -huh. This is the element of love waxing cold, man. Uh -huh. Even in the truth. Uh -huh. so we gotta endure, man. Go ahead, I they con on that. Oh, praise is powerful. Um Folk, uh, you give me that Luke 21 and 16. Luke chapter 21, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents mm -hmm. and brethren uh -huh. and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Huh. I'll praise to the most high, like me and Cap was saying. See, without having this understanding of that love, without having um, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, yeah. See, it's going to happen. That's a future prophecy. That love going to wax cold, ice cold. Because, see, they've been taught everything else but the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. So they don't know. So it's going to wax cold in them. Hmm. Um, mm -hmm. um, give me that Mark 13 and 12, bro. Here it come again. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 13, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death. Read that again. I need to hear that one. Now the <laughs> brother shall betray the brother to death. Hey, come on. And the father, the son, uh -huh. and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. And we see in that today, rebellious children, they have no understanding of law, stage, commandments, and the, and the actual meaning uh, of love, uh, the display of that thing. Um, so as they was taught wickedly by their elders, because the elders didn't receive law, statutes, and commandments. So they didn't receive it. So it's going to wax cold in them too. And, that's the, and see, that's the younger generation. It's and I happen to you, be kind of what you were saying, because dealing with, 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 with the elders and so forth, man, in Israel, man, I, I, and I give double honor to the elders that rule well. Uh, big come, big come. to the elders that rule well. But this is what we have to understand, man. A lot of this here come from, and I tell people all the time, man, these souls don't belong to us, man. We just don't promise serve. Some people come. have more gratitude towards their camp than doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Come. You know, come. I'm going to show you. Give me that Romans chapter 10 and verse 2, man. Paul spoke about this, man. Mm -hmm. Brothers betraying brothers. Brother trying to uh out precept brothers, brother doing everything just like in, in the gang life, just like in the rap world, world, I guess they call it what uh battle rapping. Brother uh -huh. always competing. I think I yeah. did a class on that before. Um uh -huh. a competitive spirit is an ungodly custom. Come on, man. The prophets are uh -huh. always battling with each other. Come on. I'm gonna show you what Paul was talking about. Read that up. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. For I bear them record, okay, that they have a zeal of God. Notice that Paul is saying they have a zeal of God, read, but not according to knowledge. But not according to the law of statute commandments. They're not right. keeping the board law. They're not keeping the law to love your brother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not according mm -hmm. to knowledge, read. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. Notice they say, Paul is saying they be ignorant of God's righteousness, read, and going about 
to establish their own righteousness. Establishing their own agenda, man. Read. Have not uh, submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. This is what we have to realize what happened, man. This is why there's a lot of teaching with, with, between the nations. They're trying to establish their own camp. They trying to establish, they all, it, it's like this. They gathering souls, but is they gathering souls for the most high God? You know what I'm saying? Or they uh, gathering souls for their camp, man. I, I, I speak love to my brothers, and this is the perfection of the law. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, I don't see camp doing it, but guess what? I give shout outs to camp because I love the brothers that's dwelling and laboring in this truth. I think all I right. saw my brothers battle axes. They on the streets tonight. I'll praise to the most high y'all. Put you in truth, man. This is what it's about, Israel, man. Mm -hmm. We got too many enemies to be an enemy within ourselves. Within all ourselves, right. man. So these right. are things that I just wanted to bring out. Uh, I won't bring out one precept before I move forward while we're talking about this brotherly love. Because Come on. a lot of times, brothers tend to feel well, hey, man, the brother's wicked, man. I don't mess with the brother, man. And, and they slander your name. They, they they do videos on you. They talk about you. And then I'm going to what the Bible say. Give me that bold Acts chapter 5 and verse 38. Because by them doing that, Moray, is that scripture? Is that biblical? That's all script and no lip. I'm just saying the concept. No, I'm talking about the concept of brothers hating on brothers. That's in this truth. Uh, brothers attacking brothers. That's in this truth. Uh, you don't hear no prophet talking about they were attacking another prophet on something. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And if it was a rebuke, it was a rebuke based on what? They were breaking the commandments. It wasn't about uh, the It wasn't about, well, I just feel like you should have done it this way. And while Paul say they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, being ignorant of what? <laughs> Of, of God and making their own righteousness. That's now, it. I bring this understanding to just go into the format of dealing with our brothers, man, and greeting our brother with a holy kiss. If it's, uh, if it's an error in the brothers, yeah, we should back what's that? Matthew what? 18 and what? And 15. Mm -hmm. Brothers don't do that no more. Brothers, they 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 call strife. But I look at the scripture and I understand the scripture. Watch this, boat. Bring that up. Acts chapter 5, verse 38. And now I say unto you, uh -huh. refrain from these men. Understand. Anything, my thing mm -hmm. is, man, I'm not going to name the counts, but it's some counts, man. They they attack brothers. They 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 say them brothers wicked. But right. according to Paul's right, read that again. Refrain from these men. I'm going to ask you this. When David left Saul, did, did, did David attack Saul? He in the hmm. text, he just moved around, did he? Because he knew at that time Saul was one of the most high God anointed, right? Mm -hmm. He put a piece off his glory to let him know that he could have got him, but he didn't get him. This God. is what, what, what it's saying in Acts. Read that again. Up. And now I'm saying to you, refrain from these men. Okay. And let them alone. Let them alone. Read. For it is this counsel uh -huh. or this mm -hmm. work. Be of men. This is what we have to realize, man. As we deal with our brother, we apply Matthew 18, 15. We can't come to the agreement. The most I got said, leave them alone. Because if this council, if what they doing is not according to the most high God, and it's according to men doing, let's see what the Bible says. Read. It will come to naught. That means it will come to naught. It will it will perish. Read. Uh, but if it be of God. But if it be of God, read. You cannot overthrow it. You cannot overthrow it. So when brothers be doing videos on brother bashing brothers, come on, man. The most high God, what did he say? Vengeance is what? He is right. Mm -hmm. Or did he say it's yours? Read mm -hmm. verse 39 again. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. Okay. Let's happily ye be found even to fight against God. So when I see brothers, man, and and, and like like I like I'll tell everybody. The goal is not, like I said, we rebuke, we, we, we deal with our brother, but if we right. can't come to a solution, we don't mm -hmm. try to destroy the brother, man. That's this right. is, is the most high God, man. But this mm -hmm. is what brothers do, man. And this is what strife goes about, because guess what? Nine times out of ten, they not a part of your camp. But guess what? It's not going to be any camps in Israel. It's going to be the nation of Israel, and that's it, and that's all. Because. One more big time. And I'm going to let you finish out. 
Give Come me on. Luke, man, chapter 9 and verse 49. Because I ain't going to lie, man, it's heavy on my spirit. Because when you think about that, and also, give me, uh, right quick, um, give me Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37. All right. Because as, as, as us being a part of the waking, I, I just want to know what, what Israel thinking when it, when they hear when they hear this precept. Mm -hmm. read what you got officer when you get there. All right. This is the now, book of Matthew. Uh -huh. Book of Matthew, chapter 9 and verse 37. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the labor, the laborers are few. So even you have you have a shot of the saying, man, the harvest the harvest plentiful pretty much, but the laborers are few. When you look at right. brother, man, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I salute all the brothers that's out here pushing his work, man, doing the will of the Father through spirit and in truth. All right. A lot of brothers look at brother like, man, that brother that brother should have came to my camp. That brother ain't gonna make it because he ain't come to my camp. Come mm -hmm. on, read thirty seven again. What did you have a shot say? The book of the book of uh, Matthew, chapter nine and verse thirty-seven. Then he said unto his disciples, "The harvest truly is plenteous, okay. but the laborers are few." Come on now, read on. Verse thirty-eight. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. And this is what goes on, man. You have a shot said, hey, we got to pray that he send more labor. Then we get labor, then what Israel do? They attack each other. They bash oh. each other. Boy, oh. and I'm going to give you this last precept just to show you, man. This goes into the topic of the clan. The love of many shall wax cold. This is uh -huh. not even talking about just the people that's in the world. This is talking about the ones that trying to do the work. That's it. Think about it, man. I see brothers get out there doing the work. I salute them, brothers. As long as they're doing it in spirit and in truth, I salute them. That's what it's it, about. It's us against the world. Come And guess what? You have a shot do the same thing. Watch this. I read this. Luke chapter 9, verse 49. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. Understand. When John was talking to Yahweh Shai, he was addressing the situation because he saw they were putting in work. And he said, hold up, man, we see some same people doing the same thing that we're doing. Let's see what's going on. And we forbade him. And what? We forbade him. And, and pretty much he was trying to stop it. When you look at what goes on in Israel now, a lot of times brothers don't even respect you because you're not going to Brother don't even respect you because you're not up under their their elder, their bishop, or whatnot. So mm -hmm. this is what goes on. Read on. Because he followed not with us. Because he not with what? With us. Because oh, he's not with your camp. But let's see what, how your house I deal with it. Read. And Yahweh said unto him, Okay. Forbid him not. He told him, No, man, don't stop them. Let's see why. Read. For he that is not against us. He that is not against us. Read. Is for us. Is what? For us. Come on, man. That's why I salute all the brothers that are doing the work in spirit and in truth. Man. Come on, man. We all <laughs> fighting for that one penny, man. Mm -hmm. No camp got 100% of the truth, man. Come on. Come on. This is what we have to realize. But go ahead, I'll tell you want to bring it out, man. Big con. Big con. Um, Bo, you give me the X3 and 19. Gotta pull together, man. No other choice. X chapter 3, verse 19. Repeat uh -huh. ye therefore. Uh-huh. And be converted. That your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All praise to the most high. Um that that script it, it pretty much speaks for itself. Um yeah, so you have to repent. You have to repent, turn your feet toward the gospel. Um righteousness is that is the way. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the way. Having love and understanding of that love for your brethren is the way. Hatred on your heart, um, um, 
malice, um, causing uh, strife, division between the brethren. No, that's that's not gonna get it. Just like Cap was saying, you know, as long as that brother, yeah, he pushing truth. He might be from another camp or what have you. You know, he doing his own thing. One thing about it, this brother pushing truth and truth in his sincerity. His brothers in spirit. That's right. You know, hey, I applaud that. All praises. That's I, that's in, pretty much what it's about. Real talk, man. Uh, I got a precept, man. We can close out on, man. Uh, Come on. Like Paul said, repent, man. This is what he's gonna have to understand, bro. We keep we keep growing the building. We have one common enemy, man, and that's the other nation. At some Come point, on. we gotta get it together, man. Uh -huh. We're for that peace. And I tell people all the time. People say uh, they waiting on the Most High. The Most High waiting on us to get it together, man. That's it. That's our ability, man. And I say this on the level, man. The, the one third, we gotta stop hating each other, man. We gotta stop keep banging. And I'm gonna show you, man. Give me Second Maccabees. Uh, chapter 3 and verse 1 because seeking and understanding that peace we understand that peace comes from perfection of the oracles of the most high God mm -hmm. uh, you look at what goes on and, and before we get there we'll close out uh, Bo give me uh, Matthew 5 and verse 22 because I'm about to show you something and this wasn't even stripped it just put on my spirit to bring this precept out because somebody right now dealing with something and shouldn't even be dealing in that matter. All right. Let me get there. I'm going to show you. And you wanted that out of 2nd Maccabees and what? 2nd uh, Maccabees 3 and 1. Bo, give oh. me that in uh, Matthew, man, chapter 5 and verse 22. Because this is what Israel deal with. Read that right quick. Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause. Notice what you have a saying right now. Whosoever is anger, angry with his brother without a cause. Because guess what? Some of these pimps, man, they, they mad at, at their brother. Because what? Guess why? Because they elder mad at their brother. Because the captain mad at their brother. That's it. The deacon or the officer mad at their brother. You don't really know this brother. But guess what? Because you part and affiliated with that brotherhood, right. you pick up that hatred. Read mm -hmm. that again. Tonight. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, without a cause, read, shall be in danger of the judgment. Come on now. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rapa, uh -huh. shall be in danger of the council. Okay. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. This is what goes on, man. Hating your brother without a cause, man. All Ain't right. no different than bloods and crips, man. And the end this precept, this class, man. And uh, also, man, I appreciate you a lot. Let me come share the platform with you. Big man, God. Just love yeah. to y'all, brothers. Read that last precept in uh, Second Maccabees chapter three and verse one, man. All right. This is the book of uh, Second Maccabees chapter three and verse one. Now, when the holy city was inhabited. With all peace. With all the, what? With all peace. Uh huh. And the laws were kept very well. And the laws were what? Kept very well, Israel. Read. Yeah, very well. Because of the because of the godliness of Onias, the high priest, and his hatred of wickedness. See, this is what goes on as the prophets come back on right. the scene, man. This is what gonna have to happen, man. And this is how mm -hmm. it's going to be the kingdom, man. But man, God. much love to you, man, from Texas to Bama. Uh, more race. All oh, praise to the Most High. And all the way from Bama to Texas, Shalom, Bruce. Shalom. You're just struggling together. Hold on, I want, I want to get to Matthew 22 and verse 29. Tosh, money. Matthew 22 and verse 29. Uh-huh. Ye do earn. I understand. Read. Not knowing the scriptures. Not knowing the scriptures. Nor the power of God. Coming back like a thief in the night, man. You burn your barbecues and your blood is not gonna save you.